Welcome to Cooking with Miss O. Let's join Mary Beth Oxendine in the kitchen as she teaches you how to cook Southern style healthy. Welcome to Cooking with Miss O and Gus Arendelle. Um, every, how you doing, Mary I'm Beth? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm Gus? doing good and I enjoy your show so much and I always learn something. I'm looking forward to learning something again. Thanks, thanks so much. I, um, today, Gus, we are going to do a salad that my mom used to make for us and mm -hmm. it's um, from the 1800s and it's called Waldorf Salad from the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York. Wow. And the manager there is the one who invented it back in the 1800s. I have the date there, Gus. What does it say? Yeah, it says, uh, Waldorf, Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City uh, in 1893. Is that when the recipe you think? Yes. Oscar, Oscar. We were trying to figure out how to say that. T-S-C-H-I-R-K-Y. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was the dining room manager. And he's the one that invented it. Is that not something? That is, that is great. So it's over 100, way over 100 years old. Yeah, and I love this recipe because it's, it's a nice way to put something a little sweet. Yes. Or, but healthy. For instead of having a dessert. So today we're going to be making my um, harvest chicken soup and it's like a potato soup. It has potato and it's creamy but it also has carrots and it also has celery and onion and your chicken in it. All right, so, spring around farm chicken. Yes it yes. does and um, so that's one of my five dollar meals and then for that dessert um, it's the Waldorf salad and I do two different color apples I think they just did whatever they had probably in 1893, but I do the yellow mm -hmm. one and I do the red one because both of them have health properties that are totally different. Did you know that? No, I did not know if that. If you have a Granny Smith or yellow apple, that is great to help your gallbladder. You didn't know that. What does, yes. the, what does the red the apple The red mean? one, I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> I just know it has <laughs> a different, different property. Things, huh? It's totally different, yes. But, well, um, that is great. And I heard you say before that you said this is a... A five dollar meal for four people. That's so right. Dollar and a quarter a piece. That's right. Yes, That's that, right. That and it fills them up. And, and it fills them up. And yes. uh, are you going to have dessert? I heard you mention that it was sweet too. Or is well, it? it's this because I use the vanilla yogurt. I've replaced the salad has apples, a tablespoon of lemon juice, the mayonnaise, the celery, the raisins, and um, walnuts. Well, I, I kept the walnuts because that's healthy. Correct. And I, get, I have my organic vanilla yogurt. Correct. So I do that instead of the mayonnaise. I have the apples and I do the lemon juice. And really the lemon juice, you know why they did that on that? Even though lemon is an, a natural antibiotic. Did you know that when you squeeze that? I take a half a lemon in the morning sometimes. I just put mm -hmm. it in my water. Yes. And it has, um, it also um, cleans out bacteria in your intestines and stuff too if you drink that. Yes. So, um, but anyway, what I was going to tell you is they put that on the apples because then it doesn't change the color. Then they can stay there a while because you know apples will brown pretty well, brown. quickly. Yes. It keeps them just looking the way they are. I see, I just learned something again. And you put lemon on the apple if it's uh -huh. sliced and it yeah. keeps it from or turning pear, brown. Or anything like that that turns quickly. You I just you just toss it in a little bit of lemon. But you also the taste a little bit too, then doesn't well, it? Well, it gives it not too much really, because we'll have that sugary thing, but really it gives you an extra health boost there. Yes. And your walnuts too. Walnuts are very important for a lot of things. Walnuts are good for you. They're yes, very they good for you. That they really are in almonds. Almonds and walnuts are the best in the nuts for you. Yeah, right. I like all nuts though. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to um, start with this. I also do Yukon Gold Potatoes. And the reason why, Gus, is because it's a quicker cooking potato, okay. but it's healthy. Your white potato is not healthy really at all, but this has higher nutrition than your white. It's just a little bit down from your sweet potato. We know the sweet potato is very healthy. That is correct. Are you going so, to peel the potato or leave the skin on? Um, well, I like the skin on, but the last time I would rather have it on, and I do it when it's my soup. And since when we're done here, uh -huh. we always serve everybody, let the people come in from the studio that have correct. been so good to us. Um, it kind of floats around in the soup and some people don't like it. So okay. today, so we're going to use peel, peel, yeah, today peel. I'm going to peel them. Okay. Then um, I'm also going to use organic garlic in this and the organic celery and our Earthbound Farm organic carrot there. Now I'm going to show you how to do this quickly guys because right. if you want to go out today you can buy all this at your Ingle store. That's where I get mine. The nuts are in the fruit section and they are not treated with BHT. You need to always look to make sure they don't have BHT, that bad chemical on them. Mm -hmm. And so uh, mostly when you find the BHT now on nuts is on pecans. And so you got to really be careful. And there's only one kind that Ingalls has that we if, can do if, that. If it has BHT in it, is it on the label? 
Uh huh. It, it sure would is. Be. It, so, has so it has to be. Has to be on yeah, there. and say it's on our makeup and everything now. And so I want to tell you, I've already put two cans of this in here. When I'm in a hurry, or I haven't, um, I've used up all my broth that I do with the Spring Mountain Chicken. Mm -hmm. This is what I do. I pour that in there, Gus. All right. And then I have three cans of this three, broth. Three cans of chicken and broth. And then I um, there's my three. And then what we're going to do is, you're going to cut up the celery for me, please. Okay. And, how, and then how would you want... peel that carrot for me? Yes, I and will. How do, you, how do you want the celery cut? Do you want it okay. lengthways? Um, how I usually do it is cut it that way. Uh -huh. And then take that and cut that and gotcha. then chop it up. Okay. And then I'll go ahead. I'm, I'm going to let you peel that, but I'm going to peel potatoes right now. Gonna. Okay, and then I'm going to get you to cut some onions. You only need, for this one, if it's my potato soup, you need six potatoes. For this one, you need three or four, and that's all, because you have the chicken added to it, too. Now, I want to talk to you about how healthy chicken is. Um, if you are sick with anything, when my daughter was so sick as a baby, and Gus, I, I, I had to go to private farms to get me chicken, because when you have a healthy chicken and you boil the whole chicken with the bones, then in that marrow is health for you, too. And that's where we mess up so much of the time. We miss all the nutrients that God has put in the food because we want it so fast paced. And so, do you see what I'm saying? Yes. And um, so anyway, what um, I do then with the chicken broth after I do my chicken, then I take that broth and I add garlic to it, carrots to it, onions to it, and I, then I cook it, then I leave it overnight in the refrigerator and then I skim the vegetables out. I leave the vegetables in there until overnight. Then I skim the vegetables out. Then I divide it up a cup in every freezer bag. So I would not buy these cans. It's cheaper if I do my own broth from right. what's left over from your chicken, you know? Correct. Because really when we do your chicken, whether it's the breast or whatever, everything, the broth and all, everything is healthy in it and everything is good. And that way I have it so that's how I can feed my family so cheaply. I don't have to buy cans of food. And then in the summer, I put up everything. You have bags of food. I have bags of food, yes, that's yes. right, in the freezer, that's Instead right. Instead of cans. That's right. That just sounds better. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, and, I've got and bags. And it doesn't have the chemicals in it. You know, you know, yeah. you get live food. Like I told you in the last show, what we want to remember the other week, and would you cut this for me oh, too, please, you. Gus? Thank you. When um, I want you to learn to eat live food and not dead food. So. This potato right here is a live food. If I had it in a box, oh, what am I doing? I'm putting it on the counter. Um, I have to get used to this bowl. I'm so used to doing it over at my sink at home. Here we go. Then when I get this all going in here for a while, Gus, then I pop it in the crock pot and just leave it till we're ready to eat. And I leave mine on high. And if I haven't done it in the crock pot at all, it'll take four hours. But if I have done it in the crock pot, after, I mean, done it in the pot some, then it could be done in an hour if you get stuff tendered. That's a good way to just hold it so that when people come in and out, if you have people going to activities and all, they can come in and out. I would yes. rather people sit around the table. But it's a Everything good... Everything is so fast-paced now. It's kind of grab and go. It, it is. It is. And I think it's affecting our health terribly. But... Um, yes. And I love cooking. My kids would cook with me. The neighbor kids would come over and cook. There you go. Well, it, that's, that's wonderful. It certainly, practice makes perfect. Then you've had a lot of practice, and you're a great cook, so it worked, didn't you? Thanks, Gus. I appreciate that. Well, practice makes perfect. Your dad and your uncle started the chicken business, and you grew up there. That is correct. And that's look, you've done. made it perfect. Well, thank you've you. You've done it's the all final done. chapter in it, Gus. And it's a perfect chicken. Well, and thank I, you. Spare Mountain Farms is a, is, a, is a better chicken for you, Mary Beth. It really is. It's, it's yes. never fed any antibiotics. We feed it an all vegetable diet. And it's the, got more room in the houses to, to roam because we're certified by the American Humane Association that we're good to our right. chickens. Which is above organic. A that lot of people correct. don't realize that, that, that is, is correct. above we're better, organic. Yes, we are you're, better. You're better organic. checked. And yeah, if being organic, uh, you can, the first uh, day or two of the chicken's life, you, and according to the organic rules, you can give them antibiotics. I know. And then, you know, um, a lot of the chicken companies shoot it into the eggs. That is correct. And then say that the and chicken the, hasn't yes. been shot. Well, the yes. chicken hasn't been shot, and the egg was shot. That, that is correct. So they are not telling the truth. Um, no. I, I did. And, and there, that's a very good point. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors and 
You don't yes. find that at Springer Mountain Farms. I no, you sure you don't. And I've been through the whole place. And um, I've been very impressed. But I was impressed before I even knew these people because when I boiled this chicken, and I want you to know that the broth on the other chicken is not, um, it is not clear at all. And your broth is always clear. Well, and it has you. no smell to it. Thank you. We're going to go to a break right now. Thanks so much. Welcome back, y'all, Gus. We've just about finished. We're going to put the potatoes in potatoes our broth. Potatoes in, and then I've got some uh, and broccoli already... and carrots and onions. Celery, here. too. Did you say celery? Yeah, celery. Thank you. That's right. And you already put the garlic in. That is and correct. We put right three, here, yes, we it? put three three loaves of, or, or cloves, excuse me, of, That's of right. garlic. That's and, right. And that machine, the garlic, is just the niftiest thing I've it ever is, seen. It is, isn't it? having to chop up your... Well, I'm going to give you one, Gus, okay. because you're going to love that. Because you know what? I would go to church... This is splattering. I would go to church and smell like garlic because I always put it around my yeah. roast or my chicken, you know, whatever I was cooking for Sunday dinner. Okay, okay we've got potatoes in there. Yes, we've we do. We've got chicken broth and garlic. Yes. And correct myself, I said right, it, it is uh, celery. Excuse me, celery. it's not like celery. That's not right. celery, celery you could, and Actually, onions. now that you say that, I have put broccoli in this soup too. Okay. Yeah, so it can be broccoli. This and base. We sauteed, and we sauteed the onions and the celery <laughs> and the... Uh, and the carrots. Right, and what did we saute it in, guys? Oh, just a, just a, a little bit of butter. In fact, Are you I surprised said just about, at my butter? I was very surprised at the butter. It was just like a, if you get the little tabs of butter is what I call them. Yes, uh, and it's, you're used right. about a quarter or eighth of one of those. It's just a, a fingernail full of butter, and it, and it, it was plenty to go around. It though. is, and it, has, it gives it the flavor without so much of the grease and yes, stuff, right? Yes, it really, really um, We don't want our kids to eat real greasy food, so we need a cup of that. Okay, now, that's organic half and half. You can also use... Heavy whipping cream, but I like this better. Right, and we want a cup, I believe. Yes, sir. And then, Gus is a good cook, everybody. He really is. I've got a good teacher. I'm learning how to be a, a cook. Okay. okay, I've got that. All right, why don't you pour that in there? That goes in the, yes, sir. In the soup also. Yes. Okay, and then we need um, a fourth of a teaspoon of that black pepper. Okay. And you want to put that in, Gus? Sure. Now I use the Simply Organic. I buy that at Ingalls. That is um, the same as the spice jars, and I use that for my black pepper. And then, Gus, we need um, two teaspoons of the salt. Two teaspoons. Of yes, salt. and you're going to slide it in there, I think. Will it come yes. out? It's got that little lip there that is hard to get away from. Okay, two. Yes, sir. Now, I do the sea salt, as y'all all know. It's from California. You buy that at Ingalls, too. Mm -hmm. My Ingalls and store is a blessing. And you want sea salt too. because regular table salt has sugar in it. Right. And that. sea salt is healthier. Sea salt is not. Sea it does salt not raise healthy. the blood. I really think what raises blood pressure is sugar. Sure, and sugar yes. is in so many things that we don't that, even know, don't so even many know. processed things, yes. you know. And yes. then when you take sugar away from somebody, I did it with my husband, I took sugar out of everything of him. And in six weeks, he lost 36 pounds and his blood pressure went totally to normal, way normal. Wow. Yeah. Great. That's, no. that's and his blood sugar went to normal, too. Um, okay, and then we're going we're gonna to grate this cheese, but first we're going to work on this Waldorf salad here. Okay. Would you okay. like me to grate the cheese while you're... Yes, would you, Gus? Would and we're to. not going to put that in until the end, okay? okay? And how much cheese do we want? I to need that? a cup. Okay. A cup of cheese. Let me make sure. Yes, just a cup. Now let me show you. Can you tell on there the cup? That's where's the cup, Gus? Do you see it? No, the light not. here. Let me see. I have to get the light. Here it is, right here. There's right a there. cup. I do see it. Um, yeah, and just leave you. it in that when you do like that. that okay. Now we're going to do the salad in, Gus. Uh, this is organic. I've always already washed it. So I'm going to cut it like this. And um, we're going to cut up. Mary Beth, I don't mean to skip around. You haven't done your Bible verse. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Gus. Let me stop right now okay. while you're doing that. Yes. And um, my Bible verse um, is 1 Thessalonians 17, and this is something I do all the time. It says, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. It's hard sometimes That's in certain circumstances to give thanks. But I noticed that when I do, y'all, I have had five deaths this year. 
just in the past four months, I guess it is, and some were very unexpected, and one was a baby, and it was hard, but I noticed that when I realized that Christ has our time in His hands, He owns us, That's you great. know, and so I'm it's just thankful. Work. That's why I'm thankful for the time I've had Him, and you helped me with that the last time I was there <laughs> by telling me what your dad said. Why don't you tell them what you told me? Well, that helped me more than anything I've had told me since. Well, my dad always said that, that let's, just like you said, enjoy the people while, we're, while we have them, mm -hmm. our time here, and that life is for the living. It is. Life it really is for the living. It. it is. And that's because God still has a story to tell with us, isn't well, it? Well, it does. And, uh, and I kind of like what my mother said, too. My mother said she, she kind of liked to hear because she knew what was going on here. I know. <laughs> so. That's true. And your mother's still alive, isn't she? Is. She is. She'll be 95 July the 10th. Really? Yeah, she really That's will be. wonderful. Yeah, she's great health. And she still. wants to be 100, right? Yes, yes. I'm that, praying for that for yes, her. Yes, yes. I, I think, uh, I think, I believe she'll make it. I, I try to go see her every day, and uh, I live about five minutes from her. You have breakfast with her every morning, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. I think that's such an honor. <laughs> well, it yeah. is an honor. No, an honor I, that I thank you... every day that I get to, to do that. Yeah, I, really yeah do. I don't blame you. My mom died when I was a young mom, and it was sudden. And so, but I had the best mom in the world, guys. And then God was so good to give me a wonderful mother-in-law, Tom's mom. Right. I loved her to death. She's the one that really liked to cook. My mom didn't really like to cook, so she let me play in the kitchen. I liked to cook from the time I was little. So... Um, she let me play, and that was neat because she wasn't fussy about what I did. She just let me oh, play, that's and that's, she was a real good mom for that. She liked to sew. She was a big sewer, which I can sew too. She made us all learn. And, um, and then I go to my mother-in-law's, and she is wonderful. We're going to go to a break, y'all. Thanks so much. Hey, welcome back, y'all. I'm sorry we were talking and I forgot to say welcome back. We're ready to show you the last little bit of this, of the salad, and we've got to put the cheese in here. We put it into the crock pot, and then you let it cook for about four hours about on four hours. high, and eight hours if it's on low. I like to get it done a little quicker, and if you get it quicker, doing it in the pot like that, then stuff gets tender, and you don't even have to do it for four hours. You can do it for one hour or two hours. Okay. And that's wonderful because with ball games and stuff going on and on like that, guess you want to dump that in yes. there. Thank you. Well, I and said cup, cup of a uh, cup of cheese, and you can get all these recipes. Can you not, Mary Beth, in, in, in your cookbook? Correct. Yes. Tell us about your cookbook. Oh, my cookbook is has uh, fourteen dinners, seven lunches, seven snacks, and seven breakfasts, and it has a chapter on the pantry, what to do when you're sick. Uh huh. And um. Another pantry, not foods to eat, because uh, anybody who's diabetic or having health problems can all eat this. I don't use any canned food. Yes. It's so, all by so scratch. So if you're, if you're a diabetic, your recipes in your cookbook are, are yes, safe with. Yes, it's great That's for great. a diabetic, anybody That's with heart disease or anything, because it's real hard when people are sick to mm -hmm. know what to do, and this is all by scratch. Yes, and, and how can they order your cookbook? Through my website. Website, which is cookingwithmissoo.com. That's it. Dot com. Yes, you're okay. right. Yes. That's right. Cookingwithmissoo.com. So, and then we have on the website, we have the recipes. Great. So it'll make it easy for them. Gus, you want to pour this? Yes. Now, we did uh, half of an organic lemon, and we're putting it on there. And we've got two apples, two different kinds of apples. A red a, and a green. A, a red and a green because they both got different uh, healing Properties. properties. That's that right. God okay. did them differently. And, uh, and a, a lemon, squeezed a half a lemon, I believe. That's was, right. Would you like to stir that around? Yes, we will. Now, let's see if you remember. Why do we put the lemon on there? Because it kills bacteria. Yes. And it the keeps other... the apples from turning brown. That's it. That's <laughs> right. So your salad can stay for a long while with that on it. I've even seen it stay over a day in the wow. refrigerator. Now, we do the walnuts. Oh. Walnuts are one of the healthiest. Almonds and walnuts. Mm -hmm. And I have them that I get from Ingles and they don't have any BHT or anything on them. Great. So, and we put that in there. Okay, this stir is that, that around. This is salad, yes. And now, we just put um, two, tea, two of these little spoons of yogurt. And this is stony-filled, fat-free, okay, vanilla flavored with, yogurt. With, Please, with, would you? With it's this. fine, it won't hurt it, because okay. it's the lemon there. Put, yeah. Two, two yep. pretty good ones. Okay. Yeah, and then, stir, then stir that, that around. and see how that does. We might need a third one. Okay. 
Well, while I'm doing this, I'd like to tell everybody about Springer Mountain Farms chicken. Go right ahead. It That's is, your it favorite. Is That's antibiotic your baby. Free. It is fed an all vegetable diet. It is certified by the American Humane Association that we're good to our chickens. They come and they audit us different unannounced times. Uh, make sure that the chickens have enough room to uh, be comfortable in. And, uh, it just makes a better chicken, Mary Beth. It really does. This is nice. looking so good. Thanks Again, so Springer much. Mountain Farms chicken. Thank you for letting me say that. All right, that. Gus, would you go over there and serve some in our little bowls? And I I'm sure serve would. Our soup? This, okay. is the, this is the most fun. It's when we get We get to eat, don't we? <laughs> and then this $5 meal, remember, in the, if you eat a roll, that's 14 grams of protein because whole wheat flour, fresh done, has a lot of protein in it. Did you know that, Gus? Yes, I did know that. And we also need to remind everybody again, this is a meal that you can make for four people for $5 or less. That's right. Dollar and a quarter a piece is what That's I like That's exactly to say. right. Now, let me ask you, Gus, how, uh, I don't know whether you know this or not, but if you don't, would you find out for me, how much protein is one of your chicken breasts? It's according to, uh, you know, uh, Mary Beth, it'd be according to what, what, what size that it is. Yes. Uh, of, of course, would be like the... Because the, uh, I've wondered, but I didn't know. But the, 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 I'm not exactly sure what the serving size is, but it's on the package. It is? Yes. Okay, yes, do you mind if we pray before we eat? No, that's what we okay. should do. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this food. Bless it to the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. There, let's try, I want to try my fruit salad. We'll see what you think yes, of that. Yes, yes. Okay, because our soup is hot. I'm going to try since I probably had the most hand in it. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Go ahead. How do you like that? Tastes great. Now, do you like the lemon in it? I do. I do. It's but I just love got lemon. a little, just a hint. Mm-hmm, it does. It's well, very good. The longer it's on the apples, the more it stays out. You don't really taste the lemon. It blends mm. together. Now, this mm. is going to be hot, but I'm going to go ahead and try sure this. Sure is good, Mary Beth. Thank you so much, Gus. Sometimes if you want to thicken it, I can take a little water and my... um. And actually, y'all, as we're getting ready to go, thank you so much for joining us, Gus. Thank you, Mary Beth. It's been great. Very good. Bye.